Roger and I were playing together uh, for the first time. We both fell in love with uh, the idea of, during our act, do a fiddle and banjo tune. And obviously, mm. if you're doing a fiddle and banjo tune, you think of Earl Scruggs and right. Paul Warren. Right, part of the, the Earl Scruggs and Lester Flatt show, they did a fiddle and banjo tune every every show they ever did. stuff that they used to do together is where they came from. When, whenever Earl was a kid and they'd get a call to go play somewhere at a, at a pea shelling or a fish fry or something, a lot of times there wouldn't be a whole band set up. There'd just be a fiddle player and a banjo player and that was the band back then. It really is kind of like the essential bluegrassness of what makes bluegrass bluegrass I kind of in a way you know I mean in terms of instrumentation because every band in the world has got a guitar in it and I love the guitar I'm not knocking the guitar at all I'm just saying that the banjo and the fiddle kind of encapsulate that rural sound This fiddle for 60 years. My brother is Roger Williams, and he went off to uh, actually went up in Berlin, Germany, and he gave this to me prior to his leading, and I only knew about two or three tunes, and that was in the fall, winter of 1957. And when when I think of my brother Roger and, and how many years he's played, I was 11 years older than I am nearly. I just hope I'm doing my right. meaningful to me because I found it and it's it's a uh, just a great instrument lovely maple and I, I wanted it really bad and um, Susie went up to uh, to a store in Lebanon and and uh, when I came home from work she said you've got to go in there and work on the furnace something's wrong with the furnace and there was nothing wrong with the furnace but she had taken that banjo and put it in the furnace room so you know it, it's a uh, not for sale at any price because of, of that, you know, Susie bought it. The other thing that we like about it is that we can show up and play these small gigs and it's just two fellows and we can sit off in the corner and we're just and having not be too intrusive. We're not be too intrusive. We're having a jam session, and we're letting the audience in on it. We work with a single mic, and so it's it's just a real cozy, homey kind of thing. The percussiveness of a banjo, just uh, listening to it, when you play the fiddle, you've got to have someone who is just there, solid as a rock. I think playing with Roger is one of those things that you just, it's a real thrill. Bless your heart. Bless your heart, sir.